Welcome to Into Math, Second Grade, Module 1, Lesson 2. This lesson can be found on pages 9 through 14 in your Into Math workbook. Today's lesson is titled, Develop Fluency with Addition Using Mental Strategies and Properties. Go ahead and take out your workbook and a pencil for today's lesson. Go ahead and you can pause this video if you need to, to grab your materials. Our I can statement is add in any order, add zero, and use strategies to find sums. In today's lessons, we're going to use lots of different strategies to help us with addition and to help us have a better understanding of what is needed in an addition problem, let's look at our vocabulary in the yellow boxes below. The first word is addends. Addends is a fancy word for saying the two numbers that we add together in an addition problem. So in this addition problem, they give us the numbers five plus eight. Five and eight are the add-ins in that addition problem. Then we are going to use related facts today. Related facts use three numbers to build two addition facts and two subtraction facts. If you look in these related facts, we only use the numbers five, eight, and 13. Only three numbers are used, but you're able to switch the order of the add-ins in the two addition problems, and you're able to switch the five and the eight in the subtraction problems below. We'll get into a little bit more detail later in this lesson. Let's turn to page nine in our workbook now. Our first Spark Your Learning problem says, choose two numbers. So let's go ahead and choose two numbers from the little number colored cards they give us. So, hmm, let's use six and eight today. Then it says, how can you show the sum of the numbers you choose? We learned in the previous lesson that the sum is the answer of two numbers added together. So the answer of an addition problem. Then it says, let's write two addition facts to represent the sum. So the numbers that we chose are six and eight. Let's already write those numbers down. Then let's draw a picture to represent these two numbers. Uh, let's go, and draw, go ahead and draw circles today. Let's first draw circles to represent the number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And circles to represent the number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, what can we do with those two numbers in order to find the sum? If you said add them together, you would be correct. We could add the first number we chose, six plus eight, to get the sum of, let's count them all up. Let's count up all those circles to find the sum. Six, and then let's count on. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Very good. Now, what could we do using those two numbers to get a different addition fact. What could we do? Go ahead and pause this video and think about what could we do to create a different addition fact, but create one that is related. 
Yeah, if you said switch the two add-ins around, you would be correct. It does not matter the order of the add-ins in an addition problem. We can switch the six and the eight to eight plus six and still get the sum. The number, the sum did not change. Let's flip the page to our first building understanding question. Francie draws seven pictures on Monday. Hmm. She draws five pictures on Tuesday. How many pictures does she draw? So let's go ahead and circle the numbers that we do know already. We know five, excuse me, we know seven pictures on Monday and five pictures on Tuesday. So A says, how can you use tools to show the problem? Let's use squares for this one because pictures are typically uh, rectangles or squares. So let's represent the number she drew on Monday. Let's draw seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm gonna change my color to represent the five pictures on Tuesday. One, two, three, four, five. Good. B says, what addition fact can you use to solve the problem? We know the numbers seven and five because those are the pictures that she drew on Monday and Tuesday. We can use those two numbers, seven and five, as the add-ins in our addition fact. Seven plus five would equal what? Let's do the same strategy of counting on like we did before. We know seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Fantastic. C, how can you change the order of the add-ins to write a related addition fact? Remember, Related addition facts just allow us to switch the order of the add-ins. It does not matter the order of the numbers or the add-ins in an addition fact. So, like before, we could switch these two numbers that we have around and still get the same sum. How could we switch that around? Pause this video and think about that. Awesome, if you said five plus seven, Changing the order from the way we wrote them in B to still getting 12, you'd be correct. Last but not least, how many pictures does Fancy Francie draw? 12. Let's turn the page to page 11. Mr. Weston picks six red tulips, circle as we go, and eight white tulips from his garden. How many tulips does he pick? How can you write related addition facts to solve the problem? Let's use those two numbers. We know six plus eight. Let's count on six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Very good. And then let's create the related addition fact by switching the add-ins. Eight plus six would also equal 14, the same sum. So Mr. Weston picks 14 tulips. I would like you to finish the rest of this page, page 11. You will also finish page 12, 13, and 14 on your own.